Welcome to RCTV. Uh, Irina is my lovely wife here. And, and Jesse I'm, is oh, my yeah. husband. I'm Jesse, <laughs> her husband. Well, welcome. welcome back. Anyhow, we have a question here. We're just going to respond to it directly. Um, this is a question addressed to a Facebook post I made. You talk about people choosing to fall in love with someone. Do you believe that physical and sexual attraction is part of that? Well, first of all, we kind of steer away from the term falling in love because if you fall into something you can also fall out of it it like looks like you tripped and fell or it just mm. happened and it's not your own choosing yeah whenever whenever you bring that type of energy into something it's it's edging at the very least it's edging on mm -hmm. you didn't entirely make the choice or there's some sort of fate involved mm -hmm. where you're not taking responsibility for it and so hence you won't take maybe not take full responsibility if then it doesn't work out mm -hmm. it's kind of like this opt-out button mm -hmm. that you see with divorce and even the dating realm where yeah. you're kicking the tires on each other physically kicking the tires on each other emotionally mm -hmm. and to see if you, if there's chemistry there is it going to work out and well if it doesn't work out boing i'm out or break up or i'm going to divorce yeah um so that's that's why we go with a different path that has uh, produced better fruit. And that is to recognize that love is a choice. Mm -hmm. You choose to love. And then whatever comes yeah. along the way, the choice has already been made to love. And that will carry you through the tough stuff. Yeah. If, if love is something that happens, what then happens if the going gets tough? In a SHTF scenario, mm -hmm. where the poop hits the fan, yeah. guess what? Mm -hmm. Love is going to get tested. And if it wasn't a choice, things tend to fall apart. Yeah. So going back to couples, singles, dating, you are looking for a spouse. Oh, she's hot. Oh, wow. He's handsome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As the ladies would say. Yes, absolutely. That's, you know, that's God designed to draw the the opposite genders together yeah. and to produce multiplication of you right so it is a part of that however if if love choosing love is not rock solid in that mm -hmm. it there's a very fine line between where where does where where is the lust and where is love mm -hmm. like the two get mixed together yeah. when you start dating someone only because they're hot mm -hmm. and you don't know them yet yeah rather get to know them first and whether your missions and visions in life are in alignment mm -hmm. whether they're coachable teachable define those things right out of the gate mm -hmm. then you choose whether you want to love this person or not yeah. Regardless of how hot or homely they look. Right? Yeah. So because our looks change. Absolutely. I mean, we, guess what? Once we're all, all of us, once we're 80, 90 years old, guess what? Yeah. You're, we're all going to be probably wrinkly and droopy and mm -hmm. not like we, did, we looked in our teens and 20s. So yeah. let's face it. It's, you know, what you start off with is going to look different <laughs> by the time you get to the end of your race. Right. And when you become, you know, in love with the person, then they're going to look great no matter what age, no matter what, you know, is going on in their life with their health, maybe with their looks. And, you know, I remember even um, watching this video with a supermodel who is, married and now she's divorced because she was aging and she's in her 50s and her husband is no longer enjoying her looks and he was not interested in her as a person really and how shallow is that we don't want that you don't want that and of course yes you want to be attracted to each other it's it's good it's important there's also a lot to be not said to about be led by it. yes not to be led by there's a lot to be said about you reap what you sow yeah. And so if you choose someone only based on their looks, but you're not really with all your heart and with mm -hmm. everything in you choosing to love them, guess yeah. what? You're sowing mm -hmm. seeds that will then also cause others to treat you likewise. You mm -hmm. attract people, you attract into your life yeah. what you are sowing and giving out. And projecting. And projecting. Yeah. And that's a very humbling 
and a thought and, and concept mm -hmm. because it brings us to account that we aren't all that we're all cracked. Well, we're not all that in a bag of chips mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah. We have to be honest with ourselves that to recognize that, you know what, if, if my life sucks and the people around me suck, mm -hmm. what energy am I giving out? What seeds am I sowing? Yeah. Because I mean, there's always the thing of leveling up the type of people you hang out with and making some choices. Again, that's making higher energy, higher vibrational, mm -hmm. more godly, biblically, biblically aligned decisions. Yeah. Again, it's going to require a conscious choice mm -hmm. to make higher value choices yes. of what seeds you want to plant. And then you also attract more of that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And in the absence of choices and decisions that are for upgrade and leveling up and growing, guess what? Everything in this life naturally degrades mm -hmm. without at least maintenance. Yeah. Yep. And with that, I also want to bring up that physical testing. Some people say, well, you got a test drive, you know, and sexually and see if we're a good fit well again our bodies change our physiology changes with hormonal changes and you know when women have children it changes there too so you can't focus on that either so you're putting physical things ahead of a person what about once menopause hits? That changes again, you right. know. Yeah, it's so it changes, you guys. Anything in life can happen. Somebody gets sick or have an accident, or and things change physically and you know mentally. Even are you going to be okay with loving that person and finding those things and and creating them each and every day? We are creating and choosing okay and that's that's how it is in in marriage mm -hmm. so choose the person for the person if you have a physical attraction with them great that's amazing otherwise you know it's what i found is that when you become in love with a person the person appears differently to you as well they become more beautiful they become more handsome yeah. what did i fall in love with you first when you asked me to yeah. marry you? Well, I, I didn't feel butterflies until I made the decision to marry her, that I made mm -hmm. a choice. Yeah. This is, I want to marry this woman. And that's when I felt the, the sexual butterflies stirring in my tummy. Mm -hmm. To where I'm like, oh, man, I, I, I really desire this woman now. Mm -hmm. Up until that point, it was a series of conscious decisions and choices. Yeah. Like, yes, our missions are in alignment. Our vision for life is in alignment. We're both mm -hmm. coachable, teachable. Mm -hmm. We're both rock solid in, yeah. in our worldview. This can work if I choose to make it work. I yeah. I, I, I choose to love this, this, this woman. Mm -hmm. And I loved her voice. The first time I heard her voice, I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> that was even before <laughs> physical attraction came yeah. into play. So I yeah. actually kind of fell in love with your soul and your spirit yeah. before I did physically. And same with for me too. And yeah. so that brings the question up from other people that don't have that experience mm -hmm. to where physical attraction was actually leading instead of like it was for us. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Don't reject that. That's designed by God. Physical attraction is all a part of it. Mm -hmm. The only thing we would sum it up in our entire message on this video is to be okay with that. Embrace it. It's, it's okay. It's not bad to be physically attracted and, and you know feel sexual urges. Just hold the fort and go identify the important stuff. Yeah. Are, are, are your missions in alignment? Is your vision for life in alignment? Mm -hmm. Are you both coachable and teachable and walking in humility and consistently? Yeah. The, the the evidence of love is consistent follow through mm -hmm. and a choice mm -hmm. and consistent and commitment. Yeah, commitment is identified with consistency, mm -hmm. which produces the the bedrock foundation upon which you can trust 
someone's choice to to love you mm-hmm. are they consistent in other areas of life so that's what how we would yeah answer that question with, without over explaining it and making it more complicated mm-hmm. it, the process doesn't change you still have to identify the bedrock foundation whether yeah physical attraction is in the picture or not love is still going to have love might come more naturally for some what you think might be love is actually just physical attraction. Yeah. You still have to identify the fundamentals to make sure it's going to work. Yeah. Whether you want to choose to proceed or not, regardless of their, whether the attraction or not. So I feel like we've been trained in by society to love things from surfacey level and, you know, judge the book by its cover without going deeper so our mission is actually to take you deeper and to go there before you marry because a lot of people they're dating they're impressing it they're each other and they're you know just complimenting each other and oh i feel so good with you oh my god oh oh my gosh you give me butterflies oh i can go to the moon with you And it's awesome, but can you keep up with that? You know, what about the life changes? What about challenges that we experience? And a lot of um, couples, when they go into this la-la land, butterflies, rainbows, and unicorns kind of feelings before marriage, it's almost sabotaging you to expecting that for your marriage, which can be created as well but if you don't know how to maintain and create it then things start crashing down and you're like you're not the same person that i married why are you like this why are you doing this why why hmm, are you going to do that you know or paying bills okay someone got sick and couldn't work for a while how are you going to do so all of those things you need to go there before marriage life's challenges will test and confirm or refute whether yeah. you chose to love that person or whether it was just an emotional decision without having identified yes whether you want this is a choice or whether it's just lust yeah Whew. we went deep there like we always like to go, right? (laughs) All right, hopefully that was helpful. We'll see you next time and be blessed.